Good morning. It's something a bit different again this week. Uh oh, we don't like change, but we do like Alcohol Change UK. It's a fundraiser I'm doing for the whole of the month of October, and I want you to help. So it's going to be a very, very short video this week. I just want to introduce the charity to you and to beg your assistance, to beg for your money. So why did I choose Alcohol Change UK? Well, are you ready? It appealed to me. It, appe it appealed to me. Brilliant. Where does he get them from? It actually did appeal to me because the appeal is called Make It Orange. And as long term oh we've lost the sun it's quite early here so it'll be a dark shadow it appealed to me because the appeal is called make it orange and as long-term viewers will know i always used to ride in orange a little signature thing that i had and uh i still would by choice i suppose but the original jerseys got very lacklustre and so I did actually ask Fat Lad at the back if they would sponsor me for some kit by way of a, a jersey and they said that they've actually stopped doing uh, kit sponsorship so it was a flat no I think that's a bit of a shame they do a nice orange top that would fit me and it cost for them say 30 euros they'd get lots of coverage but never mind the world's changing and I probably won't get a lot of free stuff anymore. Never mind, I've quite enjoyed that. I haven't actually uh, had any income since my cancer because I found it difficult to do building work. So uh, that's when I sort of swapped over to looking after goats and vegetables. although it's quite physically demanding is definitely easier than uh, laying a concrete floor anyway let's get back to alcohol change UK shall we well it's a good appeal and as I'm sure you know it's people of our age who are most particularly affected by um, a propensity to drink I've recently read a study that actually described the changing uh, view of people towards alcohol and it came up with a phrase for when alcohol became most popular and the people most affected by its popularity and they call that peak drink peak drink and peak drink was in the years between sorry for people who were born in the years between 1965 and 1970 the 20 or so years before that was very high to peak drink and the 10 years after was quite high but youngsters nowadays they don't drink in anything like the quantities that we do or did and it's not just because it's so incredibly expensive now but it's also attitudes towards it have changed it's like well why bother but for us there's no why bother about it when you want to relax doing almost anything whether it's socially in a pub watching a game of footy that's accompanied by your favorite tipple if you go out for a meal with someone you might have some wine with it in times of stress you might uh, have I don't know a whiskey if someone uh, something shocking happens to a person you might offer them a brandy it's almost seen as medicine and for a short time it possibly is it does lower inhibitions so that social interaction becomes easier it does lower your heart rate 
so that at times of stress you feel calmer. But unfortunately, its long-term effects are much more dire. Now you might be expecting me to go into a long yakko-like spiel about just how bad it is for you. I'm not going to bother because we know, don't we? We know. Although I might just mention it's just about every organ of your body, your nervous system and your blood system. Muscles, probably, cause them to waste. Just about everything in your body is affected. So why do we do it? It's because we associate it with fun occasions, birthdays, holidays, a great Friday night down the pub, comfort in times of stress and ales. I mean, hell, we even have hot toddies when we have colds. Well, some of us do. But the long and the short, really, is that most of us know we have too much and we ought to cut down. And that's where alcohol change comes in. It's not a heavy handed, all or nothing sort of organization. It helps to inform people about what's going on with them and to give them sort of fun ways of reducing. Let's be perfectly frank here. That fun was definitely in speech marks. There's nothing fun about it. But I'm also going to say that this is a challenge for me and one that I don't expect you to participate in unless you fancy it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to abstain from alcohol for the month of October. I'm going to wear orange every day because I'm going to be riding every day and I'm going to try and ride more than 1000 kilometers during the month. That is my challenge and my quest. If you like, you can follow along with me on Strava. I'll put a link to my Strava account in the description below. But I'm also going to provide a link to the donations page. And I hope you'll have a think and see if it's something you'd like to support. And I would like it if you did. Every bit helps. It'll help with their entire program to get it out there to more people, to help more people. It's UK based, but the principles are sound for wherever you live. If more people know about and help cut down their drinking, the less pressure it puts on the health service as well. I do think one of the biggest problems that we have with alcohol is our perception of it. I actually fondly remember some of my earlier drinking sessions. I'm going to name drop now. I was at uni with uh, Rodri Gilbert, who's a Welsh uh, comedian, stand-up comedian. He does lots of hosting on telly these days, if you're not familiar with him. But um, I lived with him for a couple of years and we did a three-legged pub crawl. And uh, it was a brilliant, brilliant night. But I remember Rod was uh, tied to his mate Stuart and Rod did get a little bit the worse for wear. And we were sitting, we managed to find four bar stools at a bar, all together. And we were downing our pint in that establishment. And Rod started giggling. And he was a little bit the worse for wear. And he just slowly toppled off his bar stool behind him. Just, and obviously dragged Stuart with him. And we couldn't move for about 15 minutes for laughing. Personally, I've always been cursed with a, an ability to drink an awful lot and it not really affect me. So the stories of me being drunk are rather few and far between. But what I do remember is being uh, in Torrevelinos on a drinking session with a load of mates. And uh, I don't know why, but I'd drunk a litre bottle of Cointreau before we went out to a nightclub. And uh, I couldn't make it. I knew I wasn't doing so well when I realized I was actually on my hands and knees trying to crawl to the nightclub. And when I got there, the last thing I remember was a pair of shoes, the toe caps of some shoes belonging to the bouncer, whereupon I threw up on them and passed out. Apparently what happened is that the bouncer carefully eased me into the gutter using his feet, using those toe caps, just gently, of course. 
and uh, my mates picked me up about four hours later when they left the nightclub and I'd just been sleeping literally in the gutter. Now, I don't really look back fondly on it, but it's quite a good story. <laughs> but I do want to reassure you that uh, this isn't going to be the basis of the next few videos. I'm not actually going to mention it again. Nah. I'll try not to mention it again until the end, so you won't see it really again until November. It's just I'm like to mention it as we're up at some Knights Templar castle in the middle of Aragon or something. I might mention it, but it won't be the focus on the vids. The weather now has changed. It's it's like this and forecast to stay like it. <laughs> we might get some rain, might get some rain. But the likely it is most of the days are now going to be crisp and blue skied probably until March. Might get cold, certainly up on the highlands of Aragon where I plan to be because some of the rides should go very close to 2000 meters, which is gonna be a big thing for me. Never been up that high on a bike. So hopefully the next phase of Yako Rides again should be a pretty interesting one. I hope so. And with that wish rather than hope, I'll say farewell for now. Thanks for watching and thanks for giving.